adventure seeker today i have something really special for you today i am taking you on an adventurous hike here in montserrat which is only one hour away from barcelona this day is going to be filled with incredible views stunning nature and an impressive mountain range so let's dive right into it It's a beautiful sunny day and we are above the clouds. How cool is that? I am going to start this hike at the base of the Montserrat Monastery. I reached this place with a bus. There are different ways to come here. Actually, you can also take a train and then a cable car to get all the way up to the base. But that will be the most expensive option that you have. I chose the bus because it is the most economic option. It'll take you about one hour and 15 minutes more or less to get here. And it costs only five euros and 75 cents. I am going to leave you the bus company below in the description so that you can check out the timetable. The train is way more expensive, but it also is scheduled way more often than the bus. While the bus leaves only once per day, the train is scheduled every 30 minutes. So I'm going to start this hike here at the base of the Montserrat Monastery. And I'm planning to take you all the way up to the highest point of Montserrat. And to do so, I am going to take the Santrerani Trail, which is a circular route that is more or less 10 km long. Afterwards, I am going to show you the area of the monastery as well, of course. I am only 10 minutes into this hike and I am already out of breath. But there's a shortcut that you could take. There's a cable car that you can take up to the next level. I didn't do that for two reasons. First of all, I was super motivated coming here and wanted to have an active day. And the second reason is you will definitely miss out on some amazing views. So I'm super excited about this beautiful weather. Actually, when we came here, it was super cloudy. You could hardly see 10 meters far in the bus. We were driving through the clouds, but the higher we got, the sunnier it got. And now it is a beautiful sunny day with clear views. We are a little bit above the clouds and I'm just enjoying this. And we can even see all the way to Barcelona. I'm not sure if you can see it here in the camera, but there's a tiny little tower there on this mountain. And that is Tibidabo, the mountain in front of the city of Barcelona. Did you ever start something and then ask yourself, why the hell am I doing this? That's me right now. <laughs> Actually, the climb up is exhausting. It is quite steep here. And as mentioned before, you could have taken a cable car. That would have been a little bit more helpful, I guess. Yeah, right now I'm like, why didn't I do that? But also, we've already been to one viewpoint and that one is pretty beautiful, wasn't it? So this here is actually the place where the people that took the cable car are ending up. They saved quite a lot of the hike already. It took me about one hour and 10 minutes to hike to this point here. So they did save a lot of time, although I do have to admit that I did take a lot of stops on the way. I saw quite some viewpoints and therefore I think I could have managed to do that in around 45 minutes more or less. Nevertheless, I already noticed the hike in my legs. So just in case you aren't that fit or you don't feel that well or you arrived late, the cable car may be a great option for you to still get to the highest point of Montserrat, which is impressive. So there is another viewpoint that is here behind me on this side. And obviously it is way less crowded. That is simply because it is further away from the starting point of this hike. And a lot of people just come here to go to the first viewpoint, get that beautiful view over the monastery, and then don't do that much of the rest of the hike. That is why that first one is usually quite crowded. Also in general, the further away you get from the starting point, the less crowded it gets, which is because most people don't do the whole hike. Actually, they just stay at the monastery, go to one or two viewpoints that are nearby, and then don't do the 10 kilometer hike that I am doing. It is 
definitely worth to take your time to take a few detours on your hike. Just look at these views. The climb really is no joke. I have to admit that it is super steep and not that easy, but look at that. It is definitely worth it, isn't it? Ooh, I do sense a little bit of wind up here. This feels amazing. I can stay here a little bit, I think. Look at those views. The rock formations here are actually quite unique for this area. There are a lot of mountains in the surrounding areas, but only here in Montserrat you will find these rock formations here. I already came a long way and I'm super close to the highest point actually. There's also some people climbing here, so that is also something you can actually do here. And we already came all this way, you guys. All this way. This hike is not easy, but there are so many beautiful viewpoints and beautiful photo spots here on the way. You will definitely enjoy it and it is so much worth it. By the way, I just hiked quite a while down. I want to get to the highest point now. That means all the way I went down, I also have to go back up again. This is not getting easier, but it will be rewarding, that's for sure. It just said 25 minutes and then we will finally get to the highest point of Montserrat. Yeah, I can finally see the end of this trail. But to be honest, I'm not so sure if I should get excited now or demotivated. Just have a look at all of these stairs there. point of Montserrat. This point is almost 1240 meters high. It was exhausting, the last climb was tough, but it was worth it. Just have a look at those views. So the views up there were super impressive. It is now time to go back down and then I'm going to show you the monastery as well. made it back. I think I do look as tired as I feel. This hike is definitely a challenge but it for sure is an epic hike. I enjoyed the views a lot and now it's time to show you a little bit around the monastery. It is super crowded here right now. It is in the afternoon so this is totally normal. There are a lot of people here at the monastery. Anyway it is a beautiful place and definitely worth a visit as well. So I'm going to show you a little bit around and then it's time to go back to the bus. The history of the Montserrat mountain dates back to pre-Christian times. The construction of a monastery here on the mountain has firstly been documented around 1880 AD. The basilica of the monastery has been constructed in the 16th century. The monastery has been completely destroyed by French troops in 1811, but has been rebuilt later on. It has become an important place during the Franco dictatorship. During that time, it has been forbidden to speak Catalan, which is one of the official languages here in Catalonia. Only Spanish was allowed, but at the monastery people resisted that ban. Masses kept being held in Catalan and hundreds of people persecuted by the Franco regime were hidden here. That history made the Montserrat Monastery become an important symbol of Catalan self-evidence and the fight against oppression. If you want to learn more about the Catalan history, the effects of the Franco dictatorship here in Catalonia and why Catalonia has been fighting for its independency for years, let me know in the comments and I will make a video about that. You can actually enter the monastery as well, but unfortunately I am running out of time. I actually need to get back to the bus because it's a quarter to five, so the bus is going to leave in about 50 minutes, so I better hurry up and get back. So now we are at the end of this video. I definitely enjoyed this hike. For me, this is the most epic hike close to Barcelona. Nowhere else this close to Barcelona, you will get these insanely beautiful views and nowhere else you will find such a unique mountain range. The hike itself definitely is challenging, but also super rewarding. 
In total, this whole hike took me five hours. That is a lot of time, but I also have to admit that I did take a lot of breaks in between to take some videos and photos. So I think you can do it in less time. Nevertheless, I would definitely plan with that amount of time because you also don't want to rush it. Now, I hope you also enjoyed this little adventure. If you did, make sure to drop me a like and also subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any further adventures. I definitely hope that you will put Montserrat on your list if you are visiting Barcelona or if you live here. And I will hopefully see you on my next adventure next Friday.